I'm inside my new sweet potato pen that uh, my son helped me build. So I'm going to plant this. Now this is a no dig bed. I have made several videos about using hay as mulch in the garden, in the no dig garden, um, and I have been really successful. You hear a lot of people say, well, don't use hay because it's got grays on and other bad chemicals on it. And that is absolutely true in some cases. But what you need to do is make sure you know the source of your hay. Um, and I do, so I'm very fortunate in that respect. So um, hay also, people say, oh, it's, you're gonna just end up with a garden full of grass. Well, take a look. Do I have a garden full of grass? I don't. I'm gonna do a close up here of the hay in this, in this particular area. Um, here is a piece of grass that I pulled out yesterday. Uh, this hay was grown, it had some vetch in the field, and here was a, a, a vetch that I pulled out yesterday. But you can see there's really, in this instance, there is not a field of grass. All right, I take that back. Here is another vetch, but it's growing in the bale, and it's super simple to just pull that, pull that out before. Here is a blade of grass. Again, very, very simple just to remove. So um, I'm gonna be planting these sweet potatoes along this fence line. I'm gonna be planting them about, oh, I suppose, uh, about 12 to 18 inches apart. Well, I didn't get organized this year to grow my own sweet potato slips, and I went to a nursery to find some sweet potato slips, and they didn't have them. Um, but I did find one little six pack of the you know what kind of plants that start with a bee that you find in the big box stores and places. Um, and that's better than nothing. Fortunately, the local hardware store had one six pack left and they put my name on it and promised not to sell it. That is a really nice thing about small hardware stores in small towns um, that they'll actually put something aside and save it for you. It was nice of them. Thanks Hill Hardware in Amherst, Virginia. So what we're going to do when we plant these sweet potatoes is going to be pretty easy. Um, they're already in soil, so I'm just going to pop them in. And I am going to uh, water them in with some fish emulsion. That is a high nitrogen, 511. And so that is something that's going to give these a little jump start on growing. Um, I often will water my transplanted plants in with fish emulsion. To plant your sweet potatoes, you dig up, uh, just part the mulch, like kind of like a bird's nest, and then you're just gonna dig in. It's very rich soil. This was just put down, oh, and full of earthworms. This was just put down on top of, um, of the, the, the grass here. I put a hay bale on top of it for uh, the last year, and that hay bale, of course, has now mulched down quite a bit. I mean, look at the quality of this soil. You cannot beat it. Bear in mind that our soil here is, is clay and it's hard to dig. That's one of the reasons why no dig uh, methods work really well here. That was simple enough. This was uh, six Beauregard sweet potatoes. They're planted about 18 inches apart. And this probably will be all the sweet potatoes that we will need in my family. A couple of years ago, I put in, I think I put in four and we had plenty. I am really hoping that this enclosure works for these sweet potatoes this year. Um, I am gonna come back and we're gonna put in a uh, quarter inch or half inch hardware cloth um, down around the very bottom of this fence. This is a temporary fence to try to keep rabbits out. Um, whatever I can do to deter the rabbits and the deer. Everybody loves sweet potato vines, and you can eat sweet potato vines. I have not tried them yet, but I'm going to try them this year if the deer don't get my sweet potatoes. Happy gardening. Thanks for watching. Bye.